hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i am gonna be taking you guys with me because we are going to be spending a day with me
guys anyway guys i am going to be cooking stew with in and these are the ingredients i will be using i always use garlic in most of my cooking that's because of the health benefit that um garlic has and uh yeah okay guys i'm also going to be adding more onions i have three small onions here but i'm also going to be adding more than these ones anyway i'll probably use about five of these ones anyway guys let me get let me let this to defrost while i wash my dishes which is all over here and uh yeah okay guys <laughs> Okay, I have boiled chicken here, which I'm gonna cook. Uh, I'm gonna make stew and have that with white rice. And uh, yeah, okay, guys, let's get this. You know what, guys? I had to pause everything I'm doing and say, you know what, guys? I am so happy to spend this day with you guys. And uh, you know, if you guys would like more videos like this, please do leave your comments in the comment section down below, and I might do it. I said might. It's not a promise, but I might do it. But uh, anyway, let me get going. You know, I've got a lot to do, and. Uh, I was gonna say, um, I mainly um prefer freezing. We, we normally buy. Uh, this this is this 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 is distracting, isn't it, guys? It's distracting. Anyway, I mainly I mainly buy in bulk. You know, that's because I find it easy for myself. You know, and uh, yeah, you know, because sometimes you would just want to, because sometimes you, you may want to cook something, and then you look in the freezer, you've got no tomatoes, you've got no pepper. So I buy my tomatoes uh pepper i buy in bulk you know and i then i just freeze it so yeah okay guys okay guys i am going to leave this to defrost on the running water and then uh yeah in the meantime dishes and uh
<laughs> you get it into my eyes, but I kind of feel that it cleans the eyes when the onions. I kind of feel like when the onions um make you um make you cry or bring out your tears, I feel like it cleans the eyes. So yes, it's quite. Okay. I've been drinking this water which has measuring or measurements, you know, just to see how much I drink a day. I'm trying to drink up to two liters of water a day, but let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Okay. For this too, I'm gonna use the whole of the garlic. These are my sliced onions. I'm not just gonna put it in the oil. Oil is not too hot. And mix. So I'm going to just chop my garlic. It might look like a lot of garlic, guys, but I can assure you. Try it, frying garlic with onions. And leave a comment how yours went. This knife are really really sharp so I'm just very careful because even though it looks like a toy but they are super sharp. Okay I'm gonna add this now to my frying um, onions. We're gonna add it here. Okay guys this is the garlic. Now I'm gonna add it to my fried onions and I'm going to add non cube four non cube in there and let it to cook okay there you go guys just gonna sprinkle it in there and the other two i'm also going to add in thyme and just leave it to sizzle that's when you will have this nice aroma coming up when you add in the um non cube and fry the onions and the garlic together that's when you have this nice aroma coming up you know and your neighbors or passers by will be like mm, something delicious is cooking <laughs> so we just leave that to cook for about i'll say five minutes then i'm adding my um sliced long pepper leave to cook and i'm going to add in my um uh, tomatoes and uh, added the chicken last lastly and also and puree tomatoes okay guys with this pepper I normally take out the um, seed from inside I'm also using half squash bonnet pepper for my um, stew but I normally take the seed from inside out so and we don't like that I don't like we don't like um, stew with a lot of seed inside so I'm gonna take this out basically like so and then slice them they already washed anyway I'm just showing you guys just take out the seed basically and I'm using only I'm using only half of this because if the food is too hot the kids won't eat it so I'm using only half now I'm just going to slice them. You can see that's a lot of seed I have um, avoided in putting in the food. So, yeah. For my cleaning, I used flash. Uh, this can be used for the cooker also and also for mopping the floor. And uh, I also later used this one because... Uh, when I combine both together, uh, it takes away the um, strong stain from my cooker. And uh, this one is just uh, ATP, uh, I bought it from Morrison. I also use the Method Multi-Surface um, Non-Toxic Cleaner. And uh, I use it for a lot of stuff. Dining table. And uh, you can see guys, it's half gone. I go through a bottle of these uh, regularly basically. And uh, lastly, very washing liquid. 
and uh, I think that's about it. Okay, and the sponge I use, I just use my normal sponge, which I got from um, Poundland. These are, I think they're 20 for a pound. And then I also got this one from Poundland. These are three in a pack for uh, a pound. This one, the reason why I like them is it doesn't leave scratch signs on the cooker, you know, and it is quite, it feels like metal anyway, but I don't know, some kind of strong plastic, but it doesn't leave any scratch on my cooker, hence I used it. I also featured it in one of my hauls, showing you guys uh, this um, non-scratch uh, sponge from Powerland. They come in a variety of lovely colors, and uh, you guys can check them out. I will also I will also be adding four of these chopped tomatoes in my stew and uh, yeah there you go guys the chopped tomatoes and I'm gonna rinse inside whatever is left I'm gonna rinse inside and pour it inside anyway because it's still tomatoes I put inside I'm not gonna just chuck it away. I am also going to transfer this into a bigger pot because as you can see this is super full I am cooking for a large family guys remember I am a mom of multiple so I'm just gonna stir it just to mix it properly and uh, I'm gonna transfer it into a bigger pot the pot I use in boiling the meat but I need to first of all sieve my meat because I need to use that the chicken stock and mix it with this one also so you will see me with a different pot time to transfer okay <laughs> let me cover it up for a while and get my pot ready okay there you go guys okay guys in here i have my um chicken stock which i use in um basically the water from boiling the chicken i am going to sieve it and uh and transfer my pots and use that and use this other pot anyway so yeah but these these and um, the stock comes with a lot of goodness inside of it so i'm going to use that also okay guys next i'm going to add in my all-purpose seasoning and uh and curry and uh and uh i'm also going to add non-cube no what am i saying i'm also going to add uh and um, tomato puree this one is Gino okay I have transferred it into a big pot because the other pot I was using <laughs> the other frying pan I was using was quite too small but uh, we get in there I'm almost done with the water okay just a teaspoon to add more taste to it uh, my tongue my curry a teaspoon also maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon and I'm gonna just stir it to stir it and I know it don't feel hot to me because mommy's hand doesn't burn, basically. I'm just going to add in my tomato puree. Oh god, I don't want this to stain my clothes. I'm wearing white, basically. So, uh, this one is called uh, Gino Puree. I'm adding two. Sorry guys, it's a super long video. Sometimes when you open this and it just splash everywhere. Oh and it can go on your clothes or on the walls. Well so far so good is coming out now. In here in here I have my chicken stock which I'm going to pour inside rather than using water. So just pouring in my chicken stock. I might not use all, let's see the thickness. But I think I will use all because it's still. Now, this was very pinkish. I use all.
and I will leave it to cook for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes before adding my chicken and then voila dinner is ready okay guys my chicken is ready as you guys can see I'm just gonna add it in the stew and uh, yeah let's put this here okay let me bring it nearby for you guys to see that's my chicken already I'm just gonna add it into the sauce it is hot okay just gonna add in my grilled chicken I prefer grilling the chicken than frying it and uh, if you want to know what I use in seasoning the chicken I'm gonna leave it in my description box down below and uh, yeah the stir basically stir and my stew is ready you okay baby oh. i can't believe i cleaned and cook with white and my clothes will remain it's not clean anyway no stains for now so there you go guys <laughs> that's my stew all done let me bring give you guys a closer look but I'm still going to leave it again to cook for another um, for a few minutes and it should be ready okay guys this is my chicken stew all done I'm going to have it with white rice This chicken was seasoned overnight. I will leave a link in the, in the description box of what I um, use in seasoning the chicken. But I also wash it with um, vinegar before cooking. I will, I may do a video regarding that. So there you go, guys. There you go, guys. Okay, guys, that is dinner served. Uh, this is basmati rice. to get a good angle <laughs> okay guys that's it for now thanks for watching and i will see you guys in another video if you guys would like clean and cook with me video uh you guys leave a comment in the comment section down below and i might make them all right guys bye you know what guys i must say i really 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 enjoyed making this video uh, I've got my hot pot there sizzling and uh, the only difficult part is I had to move my camera around because I have just one camera but it was fun making this video and uh, yeah okay guys let me do some washing down there uh, my um my baking tray and then